at the time we were a very small trading nation uh, with little access to uh, getting attracting foreign investment into Ireland. And it was inevitable that uh, with Britain and Denmark looking for membership that we would also seek membership. We had been, I think, refused there in the 60s because of some French-English problems. Uh, and they were overcome, and I think it was um, a vital interest that Ireland joined, particularly with the United Kingdom joining back in 1973. It opened up new markets to us. It made Ireland a far more attractive place for direct foreign investment. I think all the records show that the amount of direct foreign investment we have achieved since the 1970s has been fundamentally based on our membership of the European Union and the access to the European markets, a population of over 500 million people now. If we weren't members of the European Union, we wouldn't attract, I think we wouldn't attract 10% of that investment into this country. I would have had worries and reservations uh, back in the 70s about Ireland losing its identity, that we'd become part of a big amorphous European uh, identity. In fact, uh, I think that was proven to be totally uh, unsubstantiated and incorrect, because if anything, Irish culture, culture Irish music, uh, sport, all aspects of Irish life have been enhanced by the fact that we've joined the European Union. But also, I would say that any worries we had about our sovereignty uh, have been allayed uh, we are still a very, um, I suppose, resilient Irish nation in our own right. But we're also, we're now playing in a much bigger stage than we would have been. I, I personally believe we would have been a very isolated island if we hadn't joined the European Union.